Hello Pisces, this is going to be your third party reading for the month of April. I hope you're doing well. If you need a personal reading, make sure you check out the description below. There is a link to my website and you will be able to book a personal reading there. Okay, so I don't know what's going on with this candle. There's a lot going on, sorry. I'm like, it's popping and making all this noise. I'm like, I hope this thing doesn't do something crazy. All right, um, so yeah, extended, uh, the earth, no, no extended for the third party. Sorry, I've been doing other readings all day. So no extended for the third party readings, but there is a link to the website to book a personal if you need a personal. All right. And throughout the month of April, I will be doing, um, I will be taking entries for a two question reading drawing that I'm doing on April 20th. I will announce the uh, winner live on April 20th. Okay. So if you want to enter into that, that'll be in the description as well. Okay. So for the first half of the reading, uh, Pisces, you will be at the top, okay? Uh, we'll see what's going on with you and the person who's putting you in a third-party situation. The person who's putting you in a third-party situation will be in the middle, and the other partner will be at the bottom here, their, their other party, okay? So their energy for you is the Four of Wands. So this is um, commitment, stability, soulmate, union, all right? Reunification for some of you who have may, who may not have been speaking to someone. Okay, this person could be married though, so they are bringing the Four of Wands energy. Okay, so your energy is the Two of Swords. All right, so you could be dealing with an Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Aries was having this energy, and this is the fire energy here. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, Pisces. All right. This could be a situation where there is someone that you want to marry or they want to marry you. Nine of Cups in the outcome. But there's some type of stagnation on your part with the Two of Swords. You're indecisive about it. Okay. The Nine of Cups is the outcome. So I do feel like you will have fulfillment. Now, if it is a situation where if you have offered commitment or stability, you're waiting to hear from them, they will accept the offer. Or if they have um, offered you commitment and stability, you're waiting until they get free of this other relationship and you two will come together so there is a definitely stable soulmate union coming towards you uh pisces from someone who's either putting you in a third party situation or you have two parties yep we have the four of cups as your partner's energy so they've made you an offer or they're waiting to make you an offer with the four of cups okay so their energy is almost like complacency but they want you to either take their cup or they're trying to um offer you their cup but you're giving me the two of swords energy so you could be indecisive pisces not sure if you want to take the cup or uh, you're just waiting. All right. Show me their uh, Pisces partner with their other partner, please. Show me Pisces partner with their other partner, please. All right. So interesting enough, they are the three of wands. Your partner is the three of wands with their other party. So waiting on their ships to come in. The King of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. So they could be dealing with the fire sign outside of the connection with you. And then they have the Seven of Pentacles. So they're waiting for some reason, trying to figure out if this is a relationship that they want to invest in. I feel that they want to invest in this relationship here. Let's see what your partner is waiting on with the Three of Wands. The Fool card here is telling me you could be dealing with an Aries or they could be dealing with an Aries. Let's see what this Three of Wands is about. Because I almost feel like they're waiting to end this here so they can come towards you. Knight of Swords in reverse. So some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. If you're dealing with an air sign, then they're leaving behind a fire sign possibly. Or they're releasing themselves from a situation in air sign. What are we waiting on with the Seven of Pentacles and the outcome here for this other partnership? What are we waiting on with the Seven of Pentacles? Three, two... One. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Interesting. So you're coming out down here. Maybe all parties are aware of each other here. This is new. Or they're waiting to go towards you, the water sign, to one. Six of Swords. Okay, yeah. So they're waiting to move towards you. Um waiting to go towards the water sign let's see why they're waiting though there's why what's the hold up give me this king of wands energy here why is the hold up here what's the hold up about three this could be someone that they're married to or someone they have children with the death card okay so they're waiting on their other person to make the end call here um they're either waiting on a scorpio to take action and end their relationship here because scorpio is here twice queen of cups scorpio death card 
or they're waiting on this person to end the relationship, okay? I don't know why they're not ending it, though, but they are waiting to be single, nine of pentacles. This could be a divorce situation, waiting on this person to sign the papers, okay? Um, but I do feel like they're releasing themselves from the situation. There may be arguing and conflict here. They could be waiting on divorce settlements or finances with the seven of pentacles, but they are trying to come, your partner, Pisces, is trying to come towards you, six of swords, queen of cups. So let's see why you're the two of swords. I feel it's because you're waiting on your partner, but let's see why you're the two of swords. Why is Pisces the two of swords here? Why is Pisces the two of swords here? Three, two, one. The seven of cups. So this is also another waiting energy for swords. Yep, you're waiting. You may even be confused if your partner is not speaking to you. You may not understand why they're taking so long, but they are waiting for some type of ending here with the death card. So let's see why they're the four of wands in your relationship. I think this pretty much sums it up. We can go into energy cards now because with the nine of cups here, I feel like they're going to choose to be with you. Queen of Pentacles, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. So this could be a uh, earth sign that you're dealing with that you're waiting on them to become single or they're waiting to leave an earth sign. Maybe they're trying to, par your partner's trying to end something with a earth, with an earth sign. Okay, um, this could be an earth sign coming towards you, or this could mean that they want steady commitment as the queen of pentacles is commitment. I do feel though for some of you, they're waiting to be single from an earth sign. All right, so let's see here. We've got the fool card coming out. I was clarifying this nine of cups and then the four of pentacles and the five of wands. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, someone who is almost like stuck in their ways almost. It's an emperor and they're very much resisting change. That's why I think this person here has to end it because your partner is is the emperor type of person for here. Emperor, they're not very um, hell-bent on changing the situation, even though they do like you, but they are having a hard time changing. Some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius because Sagittarius was getting this exact same energy, like not wanting to change those who are putting people in third-party situations, okay? So I do feel they're coming towards you. If you're waiting, they're waiting to end this relationship here before they can come towards you, okay? They just might not have the goal to do it. I don't know what it is, but let's see what your energy cards are looking like, and then we'll get into those being put in third-party situations by Pisces, all right? So show me the top here for Pisces and their partner. Show me the energy for Pisces and their partner, please. Pisces and their partner, three. Two, one. We've got abundance. Yep. Abundance, growth. That's the Emperor's energy. Three, commitment, stability. Show me Pisces partner's energy, please. Show me Pisces partner's energy. Two, one. All right. So we had the, uh, wow. Okay. Trickery, confusion, and completion come out for your partner. Three cards. So they could be dealing with a situation where they're being deceived or because of the deception in their other relationship, there, there's an ending coming, completion. This is a death. So they could be waiting for that. Um, confusion could mean that they're confused. The Knight of Swords is in reverse is a confused energy. So they may not even know what they want. But I feel like the choice is going to be taken away from them because this person is ending things. We did have the Vanity card. So they could be dealing with a Leo or they could be dealing with someone who is... Your, your partner could be dealing with someone who cheats on them and treats them bad and puts them in third party situations too. So, um, or they're dealing with someone who is drawing out the ending, a narcissist, someone who's making it hard for them to leave the situation. Okay. So, cause that King of Wands is someone who could be about themselves. All right. They could be dealing with a fire sign, a Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. All right. So that's what I'm seeing, Pisces. You do have someone who's coming towards you. It's just uh, they're trying to tie up some loose ends. But I feel like they're not ending the relationship. I feel like their partner is going to be ending it, okay? So let's see what's going on with those being put in third-party situations by Pisces. Show me what's going on with those being put in third-party situations by Pisces. Show me what's going on with those being put in third-party situations by Pisces, please. So Pisces, for this particular spread, you'll be in the middle. Partner one, partner two at the top and bottom, okay? Three. You'll have to figure out which partner you are based on the energies. Two. One. If you're both Pisces, then um, if you're not putting someone in a third-party situation, then you'd be partner one and partner two. If you are dealing with the two different people, you'd be in the middle, okay? 
So again, with this Four of Wands, so the Pisces energy is the Four of Wands in this. Pisces wants to get married. Some of y'all are dealing with dual Pisces relationships, Pisces both ways. You're a Pisces and your partner's a Pisces, okay? We've got the Nine of Cups. Did I even shuffle? Yes, I did. All right, so the Nine of Cups is um, this partner one's energy. So you both have high hopes for the relationship. The outcome is the Eight of Pentacles. So you will be working on this, working on coming together in a soulmate stable relationship. So automatically partner number one, if you're dealing with a Pisces who's in a third party situation, they see you as a commitment. They see you as someone that they want to come together with, a soulmate, all right? They want to work on things with the Eight of Pentacles, all right? The Pisces energy is the Sun card, positive new beginnings, moving forward in a positive way, reappearing in people's lives. So you could be dealing with a Leo. Um, if you're a Pisces dealing with a Leo, you may be returning to a Leo's life. A Leo may be returning to your life for commitment, stability, positive new beginnings, okay? If it's not a Leo, it's still you coming back into someone's life or taking a positive approach to a new beginning. We have the Ace of Wands as the Pisces energy here. So a new start. The Pisces is going towards a new start, all right, here with the Ace of Wands. We have the Queen of Swords as their other partner. So partner two, you could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is also cutting out a relationship or cutting something off. The Queen of Swords cuts things off, okay? And then we have the Six of Pentacles, balance, stability, um, reciprocity with the Six of Pentacles, so I feel what's going on here is the Pisces is maintaining the relationship with this person for the time being with the Six of Pentacles. Um, they may live with this person or have some type of codependency going on. Um, I do feel a lot more passion for the person here and maybe trying to move towards this person as they are the Ace of Wands, but they're not able to cut this relationship off yet because either they're cohabitating with this person or they share some type of finances. Two of uh, Cups also notice that, well, not the Two of Cups, but this is a temperance card. There's two cups here. So I'm looking at that as two months. Maybe this relationship here will last another two months. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Give me one card. Why is the Queen of Swords here, please? Why is the Queen of Swords here for the Pisces other partner? Knight of Pentacles, a slow moving connection, something that's not moving here, barely moving. Why is the Pisces the Ace of Wands in this relationship here? Ace of Wands, two, one. Seven of Wands. So they are feeling blocked from their new start, maybe through financial reasons. Okay, or they're, um, yeah, with the Seven of Pentacles, it could be financially they're blocked from a new start, so they have to continue to deal with this person. Um, Empress. So they are blocked from going towards, some of you could be a Taurus Capricorn Virgo up here at the top. They want commitment stability, but not with this person here. Or if they're married to this person, they're not able to leave. They're being blocked by the fact that they're married with the Empress. But I feel like they want a new start that ends in commitment. This may be a Pisces who's not married or um, if they are married, like I said, it's some type of codependent relationship. So they're unable to like leave this person. All right. Um, give me one for Temperance and Six of Pentacles. One more. Yeah, they're like not leaving this person or dealing with this person for for. Wheel of Fortune, yeah. So I feel like this relationship is going to end, this relationship down here in the next two months or so. This could be a Sagittarius down here as well. Five of Cups. They're not happy here. They want a new start, Ace of Wands. They might have just met someone new. Maybe this Pisces just met this person here and they're having high hopes for the relationship. Why is the Four of Wands the Pisces energy at the top? Let's we'll see for partner one why they're coming up as the Four of Wands. Three, two... One hangman. Yep. See, they're feeling blocked from from union with this person. They're feeling blocked. They want to move forward, but they're blocked. Full card. They want a new beginning. This Pisces is ready for something new. Maybe they were depressed before. Now with the, them showing up as a sun card. Why is the sun card the Pisces energy here? Three, two, one. Five of Wands. Maybe they're out of some conflict space. Five of Wands. This is also eager, like passion. Um, they're still facing some blockages with the Five of Wands, but they're still moving forward with the Ten of Pentacles. They're moving forward to something that they really want, a soulmate union. But this person here is like blocking it. 
like I said, it's either financial codependency here or that's honestly what I'm seeing with the Six of Pentacles. It's not even like feeling bad about leaving this person or nostalgia. I don't think that's what it is. I think it's that they need to depend on this relationship for the time being. Okay, but I feel like they feel there's a lack of growth with this relationship down here. Okay, so you may have recently met the Pisces up here, and maybe they're still in a relationship, or um, even if you didn't recently meet them, they're ready to start new with you up here at the top. But there's this relationship here, it's stagnant, um, it's codependent. Surprise, the devil card didn't come out at the bottom here. So this could, this could be a karmic situation, especially with the Wheel of Fortune. So maybe the Pisces has to cut off this karmic situation before they can move to something more suitable for their energy. So the first card here is Faith. Okay, so we do have the Faith card. Faith is talking about um, soulmate twin flame unions. It is talking about also having faith in the connection that it will um, pan out. This is talking about spirit guides and all this great stuff. This is definitely a, a, a connection, a union here. Um, it's about growth. Some may, some of you may even have children from this connection here, okay? Um, this is definitely a divine connection at the top. Show me the Pisces energy, please. Show me the Pisces energy in the middle, three. Pisces, two, one. Rejection. So maybe they face some sort of rejection with the five of wands, okay? Maybe they have been rejected down here. Okay, that's the five of wands. So maybe they're feeling rejected in some way. Maybe they've been trying to get this person to come back or they've been trying to reconcile with this person here and they've rejected them. So now they're moving on to something else. But they have to let go of this person. That could also be why they're not they're having a hard time letting go. It's interesting though, because I feel like as soon as the Pisces winds up getting some business and like trying to go towards this person, this person's gonna want them back. That could be why the Six of Pentacles is here. Renewal and self-worth. Okay, so yeah, but completion at the bottom of the deck. So um, I do feel like they may reconcile with this person here, but I feel like this is a situation that is like back and forth with this person. Like uh, they break up and make up, break up, make up. And it's a question of whether you want more for yourself, Pisces. Okay, because this relationship here is stagnant. There's blockages here. Um, it could be a karmic situation that you haven't learned from. You keep going back and forth to this person. And they're not a nice person with the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay? They're not going to be different when you if you keep going back towards them. Okay? This I, honestly could be why you're blocked. So, so if you're feeling a better energy up here, I would go towards the energy up here. Because you could actually be blocked um, from moving forward in love because you're still holding on to this relationship here. And I do see you reconciling with this person. So you might, you may wind up reconciling with this person, but again, I feel like it's going to wind up ending with this person at some point, maybe in the next two months with the wheel of fortune here. Okay. Whether it's a Sagittarius, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo because they're down here. All right. So that is what I'm seeing for you, Pisces. I hope that this helps. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please get an extended. I'm um, get an extended. Please get a personal if you need a personal. Um, please leave a comment if it resonated, and you can also subscribe because I will be doing third party readings throughout the months. Okay. Thank you so much, Pisces. Bye.